Well, I got a CNC machine. And you're probably thinking, how does this affect me? Well, if you've never seen my channel before and you're not gonna watch any more videos, it doesn't. So thanks for stopping by and uh, sorry to see you go. But if you do plan on staying around and if you have seen my previous videos, I didn't have a CNC up until very recently and I'm very excited about this. I got a Laguna Swift 4x8 CNC. I jumped all in, I'm very excited about it. My wife and I did a lot of thinking and talking. It was, you know, they're not cheap. It's a huge investment. It's a huge path to go down with my small business. And from the business side, it makes sense for me. Uh, it gives me a lot of options. It makes me more versatile for my customers. And it gives me the ability to go into sort of a production mode, which is really great. For content, I've always been kind of leery about CNCs. For myself personally, I don't think the content's very interesting. I kind of find it boring. I think some of it can be very exciting, but I think overall watching a router cut some wood, it's just not exciting. But I'm gonna try to find interesting ways to make it a part of what I'm doing here and a part of growing my channel and keeping my content fresh. That's how it affects you here. How it affects me is kind of what I want to go into on this. The CNC for me is very intimidating, especially one this size. I've never made such a large purchase for my woodworking before. It was definitely a huge step. Uh, not just the, the purchase itself is big, but I can't mess this up. I have a lot of pressure to nail it. I have a lot of pressure to get this right the first time and I really have to dive in deep on it. So getting the CNC was sort of a way for me to attack that, tackle the fear and just learn something new, which is something I do love doing. So for the first CNC video project, I wanted to make something simple, obviously. Uh, so I made my wife a welcome sign, which she's wanted for a long time. So let me show you exactly what I did, how I made it. I'll kind of talk you through the process and we'll go from there. The first step was obviously to get the CNC assembled, but luckily it basically comes off the pallet ready to go. All I had to do was plug it in and then attach a few hoses. The spindle has a water pump that cools the spindle so it doesn't overheat. It makes the bearings last longer. It's a really nice feature. Hooking up the water pump is very easy. I unfortunately did not record that part, but it's literally just plug it in and attach two hoses. It doesn't even matter which order you plug the hoses in and it's ready to go. This machine comes with a bunch of accessories. It's really nice. Right off the pallet, you can get rolling with this thing. It comes with bits, collets, wrenches, and hold downs. You can basically get going. And frankly, for the price, it really should be that way. But it is nice knowing that you can get the machine to your house or shop, get it set up, and hit the ground running. So after setting up the machine and then staring at it for a couple of days, feeling intimidated, I finally jumped into the software and started messing around and getting myself familiar. I'm using Aspire for this specific build. I also have Fusion 360. You can use a bunch of different programs, but those are the programs I have. I'm not going to show you any footage of me using that program because I am far from knowledgeable on that. And frankly, I don't need the public ridicule. The wood I used for the actual sign is baked poplar. Here I use double sided tape to attach it down and this is me running my very first program on the machine. It was very exciting and it actually worked perfectly. This sign is going to be on our front porch right when you come up to our house you'll see the welcome sign. So you feel welcome. These baked woods are really good for exterior conditions. They have all the stuff in them that can rot baked out of them. So you're left with this wooden shell. Also, this stuff tools really well, and it smells like barbecue chips, which is kind of cool, but it's also really brittle, so you have to be careful with how you use it. My wife really wanted to help out on this project, which was great, because she never wants to come in the shop. It was a nice time, and it's also nice because making a sign isn't like something I really want to do, but she really wanted one, and I'm happy to make it for her, and with her. It was really fun. 
For the lettering, we used Total Boat 2 to 1 High Performance Slow Epoxy, and for the coloring, we used Mixol's White Pigment. After that had dried, I ran it through the drum sander to get all the excess sanded off, and then it was on to the finish. For the finish, I used Odie's Oil's new Super Duper product. It's a thinner product than their other products, and I really like it. I won't go into much detail on that here, but that is what I use for this, and I'm really glad I did because it came out fantastic. So that's the first project off the CNC machine, and obviously, it's a very simple project. That's not really what the video is about, though. The video isn't really about the project. It's more so about the fact that I got a CNC, and not in like a, hey, I got a CNC. Did you? It's more about how this affects me, my shop, my business, my content. That's really what this is about. I'm very excited about this machine. It's gonna add a production element I couldn't attain by myself before. It's gonna add an accuracy element I couldn't attain before. It's just very exciting. I'm really excited to have it in my shop and it's gonna be a part of my, my content, but it definitely won't be the focus of my content. <laughs> it's just not something I'm interested in doing and it's just not something I'm gonna do. I will have other videos where I talk about things I've learned on this machine, just like I do with any of my other tools. Uh, but it won't be the sole focus of my of my content. I just have zero interest in making that kind of content and I have zero interest in sharing that kind of content. So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you have any questions about this CNC specifically, I'll answer it to the best of my knowledge. I am very new to this, so I am by, by no means an expert on this stuff, uh, but I'll answer it to the best of my ability. And uh, if you have any of those questions, like I said, let me know down below in the comment section. And you know, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. And if you sub to the channel, if you're not already sub, I'd really appreciate that. As always, thank you so much for watching.